Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I want to do like a little quick bit, you know, like a little short, um, hopefully short little series. Not to go into too much detail, but just to give you a bit of insight on a certain feature or like a, just something that I find useful or interesting in, in Unreal. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to go over jumping or double jumping and kind of like jetpacks and stuff like that. So everything that sort of surrounds jumping and hanging in the air, um, I'm going to try and cover a lot of that in hopefully a five minute that's my goal or hopefully a five minute bundle but let's uh, let, let's see where that goes and we'll we'll just jump straight in so first things first I'm just gonna open up a first person uh, template and I'm just gonna call this jumping and once the project is created which if I'd have thought ahead of this I'd have already created the project and it would have served me at least 30 seconds but it shouldn't take too long here we are so it's just loading up now right so what we're going to do open up the blueprint and we're going to open up the first person character because at the moment let's just hit play just drag down to the top just hit play and as you can see all we've got is a basic single jump you know and there's not much rate there's not much air control and it's it's boring and rubbish here. Yeah. So first things first, what we can do, make each other we've got the actual first person character up at the top selected. The first thing we can do is on the character here we've got the max jump or the jump max count, which if we set that to let's say two, um, you've now given yourself double jump. Just as quick as that, just change that number to two, double jump. So that's the first things first, yeah. So let's just test this. So now it's one, two, that's two jumps, and then after that doesn't let me do anything else. So that resets once you touch the ground. So once you've touched an object of ground, so if I get on top of this cube, I've got another two, um, and then that allows me to get up onto higher areas. And then from there you can do whatever. So with that said, you can then also change that to three or four, and now you can have triple and quadruple jump. Now, that jump, is not that high, yeah? So what you could do, over on the left hand side, if you go to your character movement component, we can actually adjust the velocity that the jump is given. So, under character movement, on the right hand side, if we then scroll down until we get the character movement jumping and falling, this is where all of the features now, um, you know, you get more features of jumping. So. Here the, the jump velocity is a default of 420. Let's change that to 600 and we'll just see how far that goes. Um, so now at, at 600, press jump, you know, with two jumps I'm pretty much up here, you know, and of the extreme, what I can do, so just go back into it, change it to 2000 just to see the extent of that. Press jump and there you go, you, you're thrown out of the, out of the map. And then with double jump, you know, it's even more ridiculous. But if that's what your game requires, then there it is. So back into the character movement, I am actually going to reset that back to 420, just because that seems like uh, a normal amount of jump for this kind of control. Now, the good thing is, what you can do, you can actually change the air control. So air control is kind of like... If I jump, whilst I'm in the air, I can kind of move my character left and right. So you've got a bit more um, movement whilst in the air. Now, although that's not physically correct, um, if you've got like a spacey type game, lower gravity, you know, you might want to increase this and get a bit more of a spacey movement feel from that. So I'm just going to change that to 1 for now because it was 0.05. So 1's quite a big jump in comparison to that figure. Um, and then what also I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll up on the left here and actually go to the first person character and I'm going to change, I'm going to change, well, so my jump count is 4, that'll, that'll do for now. I'm just going to press play and just see what that does. So if I jump 4 times, I can now press left whilst I'm in the air, or right, and I can actually move. So that's really good. Now, let's say I want a jetpack type feature where when I press and hold the space bar for a period of time, I've got a jetpack. Now, the correct way to do it would to be to create a variable of, say, 
fuel or flight time or um, you know just ha have um, uh, a value set in in the system that you know maybe you, you might get an upgrade where you can fly for f like for, for a lot longer or for further um, you know the speed of which it does uh, speeds a different variable but um, you'd probably want a, a, a figure for this but under the first person character itself under character where we change the jump count which I'm just going to change to two for now the jump max hold time it's kind of like, the longer you hold the space bar, the longer you will continue to jump. So if we change this to, let's say, one second, yeah, so I, I believe it's in seconds. Um, it doesn't actually specify, but I believe it's in seconds. So if we press play now, and I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold the space bar. And then for a whole one second, it carried me um, like a jetpack almost. Now. The thing to bear in mind with this is, because of the jump count of two, you can actually do this twice. So, I would be inclined to set the jump height, uh, set the jump count to one, and have the jetpack effect. Now, in in blueprints, you can probably make some like, um, you know, if you've jumped once, but the space bar was held for less than. A second, you can do a, ju a second jump. If it's not, then it's considered a jetpack. Um, and you, you can sort of separate that too. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see something on that, and I'll build on that and just into more of a detailed video. Uh, but for now, for one second, I can use a jetpack or a booster, which would be more, more likely to be for one second. Now, if you change it to five seconds, now obviously I've got. Um, more of like a, a jetpack type thing, yeah, and I can fly around, but that's because my air control has been raised. If we go back to the character movement component and we then go back and change the air control back to its default of 0 0.05, you'll notice that this is a lot different now. Because the air control is so weak, I actually don't have the control in the air to actually give me that movement like a jetpack would. So, you do have to change the air control with that. Now, there are other bits of, um, you know, there are other properties here like the air control boost multiplier, which is when you fall in at certain rates, you know, it's, an, it's a, a multiplier which gives you more control at certain speeds. Um, you can play around with them however you want. But I've already gone over the uh, time limit that I estimated, um, so I'm going to leave it there. So you've had double jump, triple jump, quadruple jump, however many jumps you want. You've also got the fake, I said fake, but it's a very easy version of a jetpack, which you can build on with in blueprints, just to say like if you if you're in the air type thing, um, or how far you can boost for by linking your blueprints to that figure. Um, so yeah, you've got double jump, normal jumping, air control, and jetpacks. So I hope that was useful for you. If you would like me to go into detail in any more of these, um, if any more of them areas, please leave a comment down below and I will try um, and get back to you, whether I do it in a quick format like this, but on a more, like only air control, or only double jumping, and, or setting up the blueprints, then we can do that, that's fine. If this was any use to you, give me a, a like and a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more content from me, then consider subscribing, and I guess I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.